John Baird, Canada's Foreign Affairs Minister, delivers a speech at the United Nations this morning. He's expected to focus on the economy and security-related issues. Alexander Gunn is standing by in our newsroom with more details. Good morning, Alex. <laughs> Good morning, Pat. Nice to see you. We are taking a closer look at uh, Foreign Affairs Minister John Baird. He is going to be speaking today at the United Nations General Assembly in New York. He will be wrapping up his trip after his speech, and we are expecting to hear from him in an hour's time. So we are going to be carrying that here on the Sun News Network. What we are expecting to hear him uh, speak about at the United Nations is specifically um, uh, surrounding security. That's likely going to be a key issue, as is the as is the economy. Now, we did hear from Foreign Affairs Minister John Baird earlier this month in a statement. He released uh, this statement saying that at a time of economic uh, uncertainty, rapid social change in a volatile global environment in which certain regimes are threatening international peace and security and violating the rights of their own citizens, Canada has a vital global role in the play in the defense of freedom, dignity and opportunity. So we are expecting uh, Foreign Affairs Minister John Baird to have a similar tone at the United Nations today. He's likely going to be addressing the issue of Syria and that of course has been the focus um, for a, a variety of leaders. We are uh, taking a closer look at chemical weapons and exactly whether or not we are um, expecting Bashir al-Assad to comply with a UN resolution to dismantle and destroy his regime's stockpile of chemical weapons. This has been a focus uh, not only here in Canada but around the world as well. And we, we, we have heard that President uh, Bashir al-Assad has said that his government has in fact approved the Security Council plan. So this is something that Baird will no doubt be addressing today in New York. We've also heard from Foreign Affairs spokesperson Rick Roth who has also released a statement talking about Assad's regime and dismantling uh, these chemical weapons. He said that we hope this important step will help protect innocent Syrian civilians from crimes perpetrated by their own government. Important work lies ahead. Anything less than full compliance by Assad is completely unacceptable and should be dealt with in a serious and firm manner. Now, a lot is happening at the United Nations today, but we are expecting also to hear from uh, from Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, and he's going to be meeting with President Obama earlier today at the White House, Pat. They're going to be having a debrief, so to speak, before he heads to the United Nations for his speech. So we do know this is going to be in advance of his um, speech at the United Nations, and no doubt Iran and Syria will likely lead the agenda of both the meeting and Netanyahu's speech. So we, we're, we are seeing that as of uh, today, this is going to be the third year in a row that Netanyahu will address the United Nations, and he is expe expected to meet, meet rather with a number of world leaders on the sidelines as well. So we are expecting uh, the issue of not only Syria, Iran, global security. Pat, that's going to be a major focus today, something that we're going to be watching here quite closely on the Sun News Network. Pat? Okay, Alexander, thank you. You're welcome. Iran is the topic of our web poll. President Obama and newly elected Iranian President Hassan Rouhani spoke by phone on Friday in the first direct talks between Iranian and U.S. presidents in three decades. Do you believe Rouhani is a more moderate Iranian leader? Log in to sunnewsnetwork.ca and have your say on that one.